Hello there! We're really excited about this lesson because we'll be creating a paw painting and using it as a background for this cute little baby turtle. Before you start any fluid art project, it's best to protect any surfaces that you could accidentally splash paint on. Divide a cup into four equal parts. Mark the bottom quarter and draw in a little handle. Then cut this bottom quarter off with a hobby knife, leaving the handle area attached to it. Now we have a handle, we can use it to measure ingredients accurately. For this pour, we're going to use ultramarine, gold, turquoise and a light blue made from cerulean blue and Chinese white. We're using satin series for all the paint except turquoise, which is from the Dimension Acrylic range. Montmartre also offers a great range of pre-mixed pouring paints that are ready to use, which would make this project even easier but I'll be using regular acrylics today so I can show you how to mix your own paint using the Montmartre pouring medium. This medium comes in a 240 milliliter and one liter bottle. Remove the foil seal and add two parts of the medium to one part of paint. Next, add one part of water to the mix and stir well with a palette knife. You want it to be smooth and about the viscosity or thickness of pouring cream. A good way to check if it's the right consistency is to see if the paint runs off the blade in one consistent trail when you lift the knife up. If it's too thick, just add a little bit of water. If it's too thin, you can add a touch more paint. We're using a 60 by 60 centimetre painting board for this project, which means we'll go through a bit more paint. So we'll make up two cups of layered colours, which are already pre-mixed with our pouring medium, and fill them almost to the brim. Time to pour. Okay, well I'm really happy with how my pores turned out. I've let it dry overnight and can now add the turtle. This is the first image in the PDF and you can reach that through the above link. I've printed it out to A3 and I'm going to cut it out and use it as a template. I'll be using a hobby knife to cut our turtle design out. Remember the golden rules when using this type of knife. Always be careful and always cut away from yourself. It's also a great idea to use a cutting mat. If you don't have a dedicated cutting mat, you can always use the card backing on a sketchbook. Place the positive or cutout part of your stencil where you think it looks best on the painting. Then put the stencil over the cutout and remove the cutout. Doing this helps you choose a position that works best with your background. Squeeze out some Chinese white onto a palette. We're using a tear off paper palette today. Grab a 75mm sponge roller, load it with white and paint it over the stencil. Our stencil is a simple paper drop stencil, so it's good for one application. Make sure your paint doesn't seep under the edges. A good way to stop this happening is to run the sponge roller in the direction of your stencil. This will stop it from buckling. Using a sponge roller also creates a little bit of texture and keeps your coat pretty even. Now remove the stencil while the paint is wet. Once your coat of white paint is dry, print out another turtle and redraw in the line work. I like to concentrate on the shapes on the shell and also the blocks of area where I want the shadows. Squeeze out some Payne's Grey and lay in any dark tones. Payne's Grey is great because it's warmer than black and not as opaque. Use a small flat tacklon and thin the paint with a little bit of water to lighten the tone. Now define the segments of the shell. I use a number one detailer to paint in any fine lines. Thin the paint with a little more water to create an even lighter tone and lay this wash into the shadow areas. Let this dry. Now squeeze out some satin, acrylic cadmium yellow, yellow orange, scarlet and lamp black. Start to add these colours over the top of the grey underpainting. 
Our light is coming from the left, so we'll lay in some more yellow onto the one side of the turtle, then transition it into orange and then scarlet. Then apply a cadmium yellow wash over the turtle, followed by scarlet and orange. The scarlet will lie in all the areas of shadow, while the orange lies in the mid-tones. Try and keep the coats thin so you can still see some of the grey modelling underneath your paint. This turtle is full of oranges and reds, essentially complementary colours, and this also works really well with the background. But you can use any mix that you think works, or that works with your decor. Once you're happy with the colours, redefine the turtle with lamp black. I'm using a rigger brush for this, and I also lay in some texture over the flippers. For some finishing touches, create some highlights with white, add some more texture and flick some speckles all over your turtle's shell. It's a good idea to varnish your painting to protect it from dust. It also means you can clean it and it will give your colours a richer tone. I've used iridescent varnish for a little extra sparkle. And there we have it. The great thing about this project is you'll be able to create your own unique design and can mix up the colours however you like. Well, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and remember, you can create.